Hey guys, it's Paris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the spinal fusion surgery that I am getting to correct my severe scoliosis. this video off by explaining what scoliosis is because a lot of people don't really even know what it is or a lot of people don't even know that I have scoliosis just based off looking at me unless you really really look at me and you can tell like how crooked my back is and like you can even tell how I'm sitting right now how my shoulders one is lower than the other scoliosis is when your spine is crooked um, so my spine is in the shape of an S. I have curves in two places and to be operated on your curve needs to be 40 degrees or higher. My curve is 47 degrees right now. So the surgeon agreed that surgery was really the only thing that was going to fix my curve and also my pain issues hopefully. I also put a diagram of the actual spine because I will be getting um, T3 to L2 done on my spine. So compared to some other like degrees, mine is severe, but it's not extremely severe. My doctor even told me somebody had a 90 degree curve. So mine is only 47. So you can imagine what a 90 degree curve is. So I'm actually pretty confident in my surgeon. He made me, he reassured me that he does this so often. He's not really like thinking it's gonna be any negative outcome. And also that I'm young and my bones, you know, bounce back quick. Well, today is May 20th, 2021. And I will be getting my surgery tomorrow, May 21st, 2021 at 5 a.m. I just wanted to come on here and do this video just so y'all don't be like, what is she vlogging a surgery for? Like, what is she getting surgery on? To explain what I'm actually getting, um, spinal fusion, I'm going to be basically having rods and like pins in my spine to straighten it out. And yeah, it's a major surgery. You know, it's, it's this is almost my first major surgery, I would say, because I did have a C-section, but I feel like this is more like crazy to be getting. And yeah, I'm getting this surgery and I'm starting to get really, really nervous um, this week leading up to it. My anxiety has been so high. I just been like overthinking and kind of thinking the worst and I'm just trying to, you know, think about how my life is going to be after the surgery. Hopefully um, my quality of life is better and I'm in a lot less pain. So that's what I'm hoping to get out of this surgery. And I'm also, you know, I'm happy that I'm going to be able to wear anything and not really be self-conscious about my curve. My curve is actually really noticeable to me. Is me standing normally? Do you see how it goes? I'm not doing this on purpose. This is how I stand to try to stand straight. This is how I normally stand if I'm not forcing myself to stand up straight. I promise you guys, I'm not just going like this. This is how I fall. From the back, do you see what I mean? Like, one hip is right here, one hip is right here. I literally look at it in everything that I wear. Sometimes I don't wear like tight dresses or I don't wear crop tops unless I'm wearing like super, super high waisted pants because you can see that one of my hips is higher than the other and I have like a straight side and then my other hip is like curved like this and it's just, I hate it. So I'm ready for, you know, just to have a regular figure. Also after the surgery, I'm going to probably gain like an inch and a half or two inches. So I'm five, six right now. I'm probably going to be five, seven and a half or maybe even five, eight. Um, that's going to be really weird. Like I'm super I'm excited. I'm just excited for the surgery in general. My pain was getting increasingly worse for me standing up almost nine hours a day at work. It was just not it. Uh, within the last year and a half, I would say, and definitely my pregnancy, my pregnancy and my workload, like standing up definitely contributed to my back pain. And also my curve got worse within, I would say two years. Because as you guys know, I am in the military and if your curve is over a certain degree, that is actually disqualifying. So technically right now, I'm not qualified to be in the military. Once I get my surgery, I still don't know. It's kind of up in the air. It's just based off of how I heal. I could be um, kicked out of the military 
don't know yet but I'm just hoping for you know a successful surgery that I make you off the operating table so we'll deal with that later I'm just excited to get this surgery and I wanted to come on here because I know a lot of people are actually getting this surgery I didn't know before but I actually joined some scoliosis support groups on Facebook and they have been super helpful one thing that I am really really nervous about is the actual recovery because for the first couple of weeks I'm going to be kind of learning a new way of life I'm not gonna be able to walk really on my own I'm not gonna be able to bathe myself um, wipe myself you know it's gonna be like I'm not even supposed to lift my hands over my head I'm not supposed to turn or twist or bend or anything for at least a week or two so my mom is going to be like my caretaker and she's ready for it I'm gonna be a little embarrassed for having my mom give me a shower or like wiping for me but Hey, so I just been preparing. I had a countdown on my phone and I cannot believe that the day is finally here. I will be getting my surgery tomorrow. If you're watching this on May 20th, I'm getting my surgery tomorrow on May 21st. So yeah, I, I'm going to be vlogging the entire experience, like my recovery, not the surgery, you know, obviously, because I don't think I can have my camera in there. My mom's going to be recording for me. I told her to record the good, the bad, and the ugly. I want to be real. And like I said, my chest has been feeling heavy all day. I've been so nervous, but I'm also excited. It's going to be weird not being able to hold my kids for, I don't even know how long. It just depends on everybody's body is different. In my Facebook groups, I've seen that some people heal you know super quick and other people take months and months to heal so i don't know what's gonna happen make sure that i do my um pt which is walking i have to walk every hour for 10 to 15 minutes i have to push through the pain i have to make sure i stay up on my pain meds because i deal with a lot of pain silently um i do voice a lot to my family because they know what i've been going through but i mean like people in general don't really know how severe my back pain had gotten within the last year and a half um when i was working at the dining facility i put that up above so y'all can see what i do on a daily day basis you might not think standing up hurts but just imagine when your bones are not aligned and they're basically like grinding against each other and like working against everything when your body's not aligned it's not going to be easy and standing up on hard floors with steel toe boots on helpful for my back and I was tired of going to physical therapy and just stretching when stretching does not help bone structure it's really physical therapy I think my opinion is for if you have an injury this is technically not an injury this is how my spine is oh I also went to a chiropractor that didn't help either um, I stopped going to that because it wasn't covered by TRICARE and I was paying out of pocket and I didn't feel like it was helping so I did stop that so I literally had done everything so some people ask me what does having scoliosis feel like and I want to just point out that not only is my spine curved and crooked it also rotates so it's kind of hard to explain what the pain feels like but I constantly feel like there is like pressure on my back or it's like a crook in my back and I have to like pop it or like twist it or like it just always feels uncomfortable I've gotten um I've been prescribed muscle relaxers so I take those almost daily because after working and standing up and just you know being a mom picking up my kids like up and down my back is shot by the end of the day so I do take muscle relaxers um they do help but it's only temporary and they also make me drowsy so I can only take them at night so during the day I'm pretty much just dealing with the pain and I've been dealing with the pain for you know a long time and I'm just really ready for the surgery you know to relieve some of that pain hopefully and just so I can be straight now say a prayer for me send good vibes out wish me luck whatever you do and well that's all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed um make sure to keep track of my channel so you can see my uh, vlogs I'm gonna be showing my progress I can't wait to see my before and afters. I'm going to be skinnier, taller. Hopefully I get a little thicker. I cut my hair. This is my surgery haircut. What do you guys think? You know, I just want a new back, a new hair. You know, next I might even get a new, like, BBL. We're going to see. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.